Welcome into the post game show of game one of Chris Ball baggage versus we got ice we saw an incredible game for first one out of the game we really did and we saw a bit of everything we saw some really good defense from jake they really like him in that corner back there we saw some good defense from zoe we also saw some power you have obis pinar had some really really big at bats in both of the innings um you cannot you cannot forget the penis ball uh, that started between Obis and Jake. Yep. Um, but we saw it all in this game on both sides. We definitely did. No, we definitely did. Now, I want to hear from Chris Rose and Darren Sammy on their overall thoughts of this game. Let's send it up to the booth and Kels, get down there for the play of the game. Uh, Darren Sammy, we saw an awful lot. We saw guys getting hit. We saw big time boundary balls. We saw chaotic running. We saw great defensive plays. We saw awful misplays. But this first game of the season had it all. It had everything, Rose. And I'm telling you, whew, Tim Baggage looks good. I thought I almost wrote him off. But the belief and experience and the addition of Aaron Jones, the cricket yep. in mind, you heard him break down the chase. We thought it was a lot. And he said, you just need two sixes and over. And that's exactly what they did. They want comfortably with a ball to spare. All right, for more with our star of the game, here's Kelsey. Of course, our star of the game is Jimmy O'Brien. A big win in game one for you guys in this tournament. But I want to start out asking you about Aaron Jones, yes. your teammate that you got from Major League Cricket. It seemed to take him a little bit to find his timing, to find the difference in the bat. But once he got going, he got going, huh? Yeah, I was wondering if he was going to be able to get the barrel to it because I think the first couple he didn't. And then as soon as he popped one, it seemed like it clicked. And then he gave me advice, and then it clicked for me. What was the advice? He told me to step a little bit back because in all my practice games, I like crowding the plate and choking up a ton. But that lefty had a lot of funk. So I stepped back, and that enabled me to be, take a big old baseball swing. Walk me through the comeback that you guys have. That has to give you a lot of confidence moving forward in the tournament. I think so. It was a lot of math by Aaron. Yeah. We said, what do we need? He said, two sixes and over, and we're good. I said, oh, that's okay. We can do that. And I think we got three off the first ball. That was a bad hit, basically. And then, I, and then we thought, oh, okay, we're going to be good. We know how well you can pitch in the warehouse. But I believe that you, before even Jack, were our golden bowler. I think you were the first golden bowler of the tournament. How did that feel? I'm a good fan. I'm a big fan of good pitches. I'd rather throw a good pitch and potentially give up a four, because you can also potentially stop it and have a dot ball like we saw Jake do, than bad pitches. So I'm just, I'm not trying to get tricky or cute. I want them to hit it. I want to make it easy to hit, but just not hit too hard. It's Jake's job to keep it tricky and cute back in that corner as he plays defense. We keep him in the corner and say, just get hurt a little bit. Baby in the corner. Well, Jimmy, congratulations on your game one win. Rosie, team baggage, takes it here in the first game. We'll see how that carries over to the rest of the tournament. Game one highlights are here. Let's dive right in. We got ice versus team baggage. Jack Doyle is striking first. Puts up a six right off the bat. Are we surprised? He came to play. We got ice put up 36, and it's time for team baggage to strike. Jake said, hold my beer, went straight for Darren Sammy's face, and then decided to go straight for the no-fly zone. Yeah, just not a cool move by Jake, in my opinion, is it? Men look away. It's a painful sight. We don't want to see it in slow motion, but it's here. Jake, was the penis shot intentional there? I'm sorry. Are, Are you, you okay? Come on, I just missed. I'm good. I don't think he believed the thing Jake said because he stepped up to the plate and hit a six. And yet another six, putting We Got Ice up 48, leading them into the chase. Team Baggage steps up. Aaron Jones hits a boundary. And so his teammate did the exact same thing. And this weird play is actually how the game ends. The game is over. Is the game over on yes. that? Yes, Team Baggage oh my out goodness. of nowhere. An interesting ending to game one of this tournament, but let's hear from We Got Ice on how they blew this lead and lost this game. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think we learned kind of cricket. No lead is where, safe, apparently? Yeah. I don't happened? know what happened. Yeah. We had 50 run lead, and I was like, oh, we won the game. And the next thing I know, we lost. And I'm yeah. Here, so. I think the inning per inning doesn't really matter. You have to have two good innings to win. Does that make sense? I, felt, yeah, I don't know. I would say so. Yeah. yeah. You sure? 
I, I think it felt like a T20. So in, in T20 cricket, you see totals get chased down. So even if you've got like a crazy, you know, it feels like an unassailable lead, nothing is because the approach of the batters change. So even a single mistake on your side, whether you're giving away extra runs or they, they have the ability to manipulate the field in any way, you're always vulnerable because they're always coming for you. And we kind of found that out the hard way. Like, it was fun. Right? Brilliant. It was yeah. great. Fun. These two have been great because they've made us feel quite like welcome when we do something stupid like like I should put your hand in front of them. You're like, oh, don't worry about it. You chill, you relax. And, you know, I've got teammates back in England who I play cricket with who are a lot crueler when you do something no. wrong. These guys have been fun. And it was nice to get one out of the middle, man. I don't know about you. He, he got a few more out of the middle than I did, but it felt nice. Yeah. That was a great swing. And turn those goofs and gaps into wins instead of losses like today. I did find out something. Like, I'm actually upset we lost. Like, really upset. So, I'm like, we're going to be pretty competitive. I want to win this thing. And we'll goof and gap. Yeah. But, like, I'm sad we lost. That sucked. That's a good thing. Yeah. yeah, I think the intensity was a lot higher than I thought it would be. Like, guys were diving and, and doing their best. So I think you'll you'll see 100% from our side and then with a lot of goofing and going. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I think a lot of it... <clears throat> Can you hear me? <laughs> I think a lot... Yeah. I think a lot of it is we went half bucket hat, half not. Mm, that's uh, it. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I didn't like that. We feel yeah. like we need to unionize. <laughs> when your hat got in your eyes. Yeah, that's and I point. think Luke did that. Luke might have sabotaged. Oh. Team baggage, <laughs> team baggage. You guys with the victory, down by 50 runs. Did you guys think you could pull that a victory off? And were you surprised there at the end? Because it kind of became matter of fact at the end. You guys actually were the drivers. You felt like in the last couple pitches. What Aaron doesn't know is we got ice has never beaten team baggage mm. in a in a franchise game in any sport. So we knew it was bound to happen. No, I thought it was pretty hard. I thought we weren't going to do it, and then we. I was did. nervous about it. Yeah, felt like a lot of points. Jake, confident? I wasn't. I mean, uh, I go look at my halftime interview. I was pretty confident. Um, this whole situation actually took me back to like the situation that we were being for a cricket game. Ooh. So, yeah, it's actually very sim similar. So I just tried to break down the score as best as possible and give it my all. We went on going the last over as well. Yeah, we knew, obviously, you had to hit some boundaries, um, some sixes and fours. And that was the strategy actually going into the second innings. So, as I said, I just gave it my all, and it, we came out on top. Jimmy, first game of this tournament, you guys are able to come away with a victory. Obviously, you guys didn't have the best blitz ball battle. Mm. How are you guys trying to move forward after a blitz ball battle? We were trying to forget all about it until you just mentioned it. So... <laughs> Great job. Like a lot of people out there are calling this now the penis ball game. Um, mm. How do you think that that play plays right. impacted the game? It changed the momentum every time. Um, I think they got a lot of momentum after I penis them. And then I think when I went out there to throw, and he saw like you know, kind of the rabbit's got the gun. He's out there. I'm there. I think that kind of apologies were made, things happened, and then we ran, and they were scared. And then I think Jimmy I've, got I've been yeah. on the other side of one of Jake's penis balls last yeah. tournament, oh. and it rattles you. So I <laughs> was happy when I saw that because I knew it was going to shake him up a little bit. Okay. Well, congratulations on winning the penis ball game of 2023. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So a great game that we saw from Team Baggage, and we got ice just like the guys in the booth were telling us. But Team Baggage comes away with the win. Now we pivot. To game two, we have Lovias versus Forgotten Rotten. Let's get you up to Chris Rose and Darren Sammy. And here we go. Game number two is going to be a pair of teams that know each other very well. Lovias and Forgotten Rotten. Let's start with Forgotten Rotten. Of course, they are led by former major leaguer and two-time blitzball champion in Trevor Plouffe. I know you haven't seen Trevor do his thing out here on the concrete, but what sort of adjustment does a former major league player have to make in the cricket world? Well, he just got to make sure he runs and keep his bat on the ground. <laughs> Apart from that, he has the perfect technique to get the ball to the boundary. I actually want to copy some of his technique. You, whoa, 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 hold on. I'm oh. telling you. No, 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 don't, don't let him hear this because he's going to be like <laughs> one of the great cricket players of all time. Wants to cr no, no, don't do that. There, Rose, I went out there trying to hit the ball. It's so difficult. You heard in the game before Aaron talking about how quickly he had to adjust you got to keep your eyes on 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 the on the ball and you saw jake and Me. jimmy yep because they have a proper baseball swing they made more connection and i'm looking forward to see trevor 
do that. All right, you, of course, we're talking about Aaron Jones, who's one of the professional cricket players. You'll see at least one on each team out there, and that's really kind of the big adjustment that these guys have is they play cricket with, <laughs> first of all, with a different paddle yes. instead of a bat yes. out here and just the way they're trying to hit the ball and adjust to it. But once they figure it out, yeah, you better look out. Yes. Yeah, and uh, whew, first game was exciting. I hope Trevor from For- Forgotten Rodden and Nikki – Yep. Live up to the hype. Oh, well, they usually do. <laughs> Let's get it going. Let's get you into game two. Forgotten Rotten, love yous. A tale as old as time. A rivalry I think is sometimes made up and then sometimes real. Kelsey oh, it's real. You got Trevor Plouffe. You got Nikki Cass, two of the biggest competitors in this warehouse. Mm. Packs. Both of them want to win so bad, but at the same time, that rivalry between the two of them, it's almost just as important for them to see the other one lose. I agree. I agree. I agree completely. It's kind of like a sibling rivalry where they love each other, but they hate each other, and we never know if it's turned on or off. We yeah. never know with that. Do you guys hate each other? What the fuck are you doing? Fucking swinging and missing at every pitch. You need to start taking some. Did I leave it out? Like, did you need to start did I jake story reality out there or did I fucking give everything oh, I had? Oh, no, you bring it. Yeah, you I am. You need to take some responsibility no, for man, yourself. No, no responsibility. Yeah, I'm just what the fuck are you here for? I don't know. I mean, what the fuck are you doing sitting right there? <laughs> if you watch the game, I don't really know what I'm doing up there. I'm not trying, though. At the end of the game, I was still out there trying to get fucked up. Trev's, Trev's big bro, but we were able to catch up with both of them. Yep. yep down on the field. So I got to go. I got to go talk to Forgotten Rotten real quick. Yeah, we'll be good. 106 big league home runs right here. Trevor Plouffe, you're coming back to defend. We've seen success from you in the warehouse. Obviously, you can see the banners up there. BB1 champs, BB2 champs. Not a great showing in BB3. Where is your confidence in the warehouse right now? Wow, shots fired a little bit right there. I think uh, the first teaching moment I'm going to do is right here in front of everyone. Sav. Be sad, bro. Don't be humble. Like this, what Rotten's about is just being overly cocky. That's kind of what we do here. And so like right now, I feel like we're just going to run through this team. No problems whatsoever. That's how I feel. Justin, we've seen you in the Challenger Series, but this is your first official warehouse tournament. What do you think your role on this team is going to be? Moving along. Throw strikes. Don't get out. Let these superstars hit. Let these superstars put up some fours, put up some sixes. And let's have some fun, Kelsey. Sounds like a good crits ball game to me. We have forgotten Rotten getting ready for game two of this tournament. Paxton is with Team Lovyas and your best friend, Nikki Cass. Let's get it to Pax. Thanks, Kels. Incredible interview over there with uh, these rivals that we're talking to. Lovyas, how are you feeling today? Oh, we're feeling great. Yeah. Energy. I mean, look, look at Rusty. Does that feeling sharp? As you can see. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it. Pumped up, warmed up, ready to go. Yeah. So, Rob, now you are actually the only winner yeah. on this team yeah. from previous warehouse games. No shade to that. Well, from Not warehouse game, from warehouse game. Yeah. What experience are you taking from previous wins and how are you bringing the energy to this team? Well, we just got to limit our mistakes and, uh, you know, aim small, miss small. That's aim it. Small, aim small, miss small. I like that. Overall, what's your strategy, guys? Our strategy, so Rush and I are going to go out in the beginning. And every time the ball hits the bat, we're running. We're going to put pressure on the defense to make a play, and we're going to cause chaos. Last question, last question. Rusty, do you hate Trevor Pluth now? Do you hate Trevor Pluth because your teammates do? I don't hate anybody. I just dislike him intensely. Yeah! 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 Let's throw it back up to us for predictions. And fans, if you're at home watching, don't forget that you can get involved in the action as well. We want to hear your vote. So if you go onto our social pages, it's up right now. That's JM Warehouse underscore. We have polls. You can make your prediction for who you think is going to win the game. But Pax, who do we think? Forgotten Rotten versus Love Yous. Who are you taking? I... I'm starting because you took my pick in the last one. Okay, fine. Start. I will take Love Yous in yeah. game two to win. I explain this because Rob, coming from Team Happy to Be Here, mm-hmm. is my dark horse of this tournament. He has the speed. He has the defense. He even has some sneaky pop. We know what Nikki Cass can do. And they'll be getting Rusty Theron from the Texas Super Kings, a first-round draft pick. Yeah in the draft for Major League Cricket. 
Kels, I can disagree with you. I'm going to have to go with Levius as well. Forgotten Rotten obviously has this history in a warehouse of winning, but after seeing them come out in Blitzball Battle 3 and their team hasn't been completely pulled together yet, yeah. I, I just think that coming out of the gate, I think Levius is going to win. And their Major League Cricket player will be Calvin Savage. We'll yeah. be looking out for him as well. So we've now gotten you ready. Ooh. Yep, we got Chris Rose, we got Darren Sammy in the booth, on the call. Be sure to tune back in at 6 p.m. for game festivities to start. I'm Paxton. This is Kelsey. Bye. Bye.